Little more than a year ago, a man named Hal Philip Walker excited a group of college students with some questions. Have you stood on a high and windy hill and heard the acorns drop and roll? Have you walked in the valley beside the brook, walked alone, and remembered? Does Christmas smell like oranges to you? Well, in a commencement speech, such questions were fitting, perhaps, but hardly the material with which to launch a presidential campaign. Even those who pay close attention to politics probably saw Hal Philip Walker and his replacement party as a bit of frost on the hillside. Summer, if not late spring, would surely do away with all that. Well, now that summer, along with presidential primaries, is heavy upon us and the frost is still there, perhaps we should take a closer look. Hal Philip Walker is, in a way, a mystery man. Out of nowhere, with a handful of students and scarcely any pros, he's managed to win three presidential primaries and is given a fighting chance to take a fourth, Tennessee. A win in that state would take on added significance for only once in the last 50 years has Tennessee failed to vote for the winning presidential candidate. No doubt many Americans, especially party liners, wish that Hal Philip Walker would go away, disappear like the natural frost, and come again at some more convenient season. But wherever he may be going, it seems sure that Hal Philip Walker is not going away, for there is genuine appeal. And it must be related to the raw courage of this man, running for president, willing to battle vast oil companies, eliminate subsidies to farmers, tax churches, abolish the electoral college, change the national anthem, and remove lawyers from government, especially from Congress. Well, at this point, it would be wise to say most of us don't know the answer to Hal Philip Walker. But to answer one of his questions, as a matter of fact, Christmas has always smelled like oranges to me.